Hello everyone, welcome to Taslima Maya Art. It's lovely to have you here. Do try and check out my other tutorial videos and like, share and subscribe if you can. This week on the Fluid Art Express, I have a really exciting new pour planned for you. It's a layered holographic glitter chain pour on a black base. And this is the wet result, so you can see the shimmer from the holographic glitter. Um, and it's more visible after it dried, but you can see how I've layered these patterns over each other using a simple chain fluid art method. A big shout out goes out to the wonderful Fozia Creations on YouTube. Do check her out because she inspired this piece with her work. So let's get messy. I try and cater for all types of levels, including beginners, so I'm going to show you a simple um, section of this video where I mix my paints. I've only done two chain pulls before, so this will be a fun little experiment, I think, with different brands and products. Very good, Sarah. Doing a good job mixing it. Will our glitter mixed in? Yeah. Good girl, love. So for this technique, I mix three colours. Oxide Black from Amsterdam for the base, Deco Art Extreme Machine in Sapphire, to which I added this little piggy pigment in Sapphire, so about half a teaspoon of the pigment to about a grape size amount of the paint. To this I added some of my holographic glitter from the Leo Bro brand, which I purchased on Amazon, and this one I think was royal blue to go with those uh, sapphire colours. I added a sprinkle but I think next time I will be adding more um, just so it's more visible on the canvas when it's dried but as I said this was me just playing around and seeing what I could do and what I could achieve. The glitter paint that Fozia Creations uses is not available in the UK and other parts of the world so I was trying to find a different recipe mm -hmm. that I could use and teach others. Now the chain pull or the string technique are not strictly a type of acrylic pour, but they are used often in fluid art painting. I would say that it's not exactly an easy technique to master, it does take a while to get the hang of it, so give yourself the grace to experiment and play around a little bit and do test runs as well. Your resulting design will vary as it's often mm -hmm. affected by the style or gauge of the chain that you use. And you can use any kind of chain really, so anything in costume jewellery, Mardi Gras beads or pull and plug chains or any kind of necklace, bracelets or even beaded eyeglass holders. They don't necessarily have to be linked chains either, you can use a ball chain or even beaded chains. The chains I have were 5 millimeters and you can get them on any website like eBay, um, from different uh, vendors, or from Amazon. I bought mine from Amazon, but you can get meters of it relatively cheap. I thoroughly mixed this up now. This was the pigment, the holographic glitter, and the paint, the Extreme Machine paint, um, so that it was all dispersed properly. And once that was done, I added my pouring medium. Now, the pouring medium I used was one part Liquitex pouring medium with two parts PVA craft glue and one part water give or take and I mix this with my paint at around 60 to 40 ratio. The consistency is like thick honey or warm honey. I know that's difficult to gauge but it's a little less thicker than a bloom consistency. It's around a three, uh, three and a half um, out of a five in terms of thickness. So still quite fluid and pourable, but, but relatively thick. The other colour that I mixed up was the Pebio Iridescent Blue-Green, and I added a bit of the TLP Mermaid to that to give it that shimmer. So both paints are very, very shimmery, um, well especially the Extreme Sheen with the TLP. Uh, Sapphire, as well as the Pebio Iridescent colour um, with Mermaid. I also added the Leo Bro Peacock Blue Holographic Glitter to my Pebio Iridescent Blue Green. I think that if I were to do this again, I would definitely add a lot more glitter to this, um, simply because it didn't show up as well as I would have liked. It still showed up, just not as much as I would have liked. 
Regardless, though, the outcome was really um, an exquisite piece of work. I absolutely loved what um, the outcome was, and you will see it shortly. I then did a very quick test piece to see how the colours will hold up and whether they were thick enough in terms of consistency. So we are good to go. So here I've got a couple of things. I've got a scraper um, stretch canvas of 9 by 12 inch and I'm going to pop my gloves on simply to protect my hands because we are going to do this pour or this chain pour technique on a black base and I've got my oxide black mixed up here with the same pouring medium same ratio so all the consistencies are similar and I'm going to put a very thin thin layer on my canvas now so I'm going to spread it out and I've also got a little uh, pot of water there to wash my chains simply because I don't have enough chains I do need to order a few more and I end up washing in between each of the chain pulls that I do so Let's get to it. I hope you're as excited as I was at this point because this is something quite intriguing and I can't wait to try it. So I'll stop talking now and let you sit back and relax and just watch me create this beautiful piece of art using the chain pull method. And let's play some music. just dipping my chain straight into my paint pot and dunking it in making sure it's fully immersed and covered and then I use my fingers my two fingers in a pincer movement to try and remove some of the excess paint on the chain and make sure I don't put too much of it onto my canvas there so I'm just doing that it's slightly off camera so apologies for that but you can see I'm just taking some of the excess off and putting it back into the little pot there and I'm ready now so here goes the first one so I'm going to lay it down very very gently I'm going to guide it and make these little curves on the canvas very gently and lay it right down I'm going to pull the chain towards me right in the center and downwards okay so I don't lift the chain off the canvas at all the great thing about this, this technique in particular is that if you do make mistakes, you can see a little bit of a mistake there um, with a paint flip to the side there at the bottom left. I can just correct that straight away. Given it's a black base, it's really very easy to correct that. But I tend to, I think what I do here is I just go over it with another chain and do a chain pull over it. Now you can put these little florets or whatever they're called, these little patterns on your canvas in any manner you wish. You can put them side by side, touching, 
not touching over the top of each other. Um, initially, I do them next to each other. And then later, I will decide in this piece to um, lay them on top of each other as well to give it that extra kind of bit of interest. Now, remember, you can be as creative as you like. You can use chameleon colours, different kinds of pigments, um, you know, eye candy, this little piggy, um, colour art pigments, anything you really like, you know, colour shifting um, pigments. You can use all different kinds of paints, various types of glitters. So just let your creativity flow and accept, experiment. And if you do give this a go after watching my tutorial, please do let me know in the comments below. Also, if you enjoy this and learn anything from it, please do hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, or leave a comment for me so I know that there's people who find value in my videos. So I'm almost there with the layering on top of one another. Um, so it's time for a close-up just to see how it's coming along. And if you can see how beautiful that looks, you can see the shimmer. The camera doesn't pick it up as well as in person, but there's a lot of shimmer in there. You can see the glitter when you tilt it to a certain light and it does sparkle. So I said that next time I'd add more glitter for certain, but it does pick it up really well. And look at that, isn't that amazing for a first go at this technique? Um, I thought it went really well, the consistency of the paint was perfect. 
um, and it dried really, really well as well. And it retained all of the beautiful patterns of the folds and the lines there. I'm really hoping you can catch the shimmery glitter there. Can you see that sparkle in the green? It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, so the turquoise, I should say. But yeah, it's absolutely stunning. You can see it shining in the light. Beautiful. I really do hope you guys, especially those of you who are beginners, do give this a chance and give it a go and see what happens. Um, there's only one way to find out, so hopefully this tutorial video will give you that little nudge to try this out yourself. And you don't you have to use holographic glitter, you can use any kind of glitter. Just ensure that it's small particles, not large flakes, um, so you can see it kind of on your paint. I'd like to say a big thank you to all my supporters, my viewers, my subscribers, all the people who watch my videos and find some value in them, those of you who've shared uh, my videos with others and helped by leaving comments. Um, I couldn't have done this without you, so I'm so grateful. I'm also grateful to the wonderful, talented artists on the Fluid Art Express, um, which is something that happens every week, so it's a collaboration between a good few artists across the world so please do try and tell your friends about us and I want to say a thank you to Darren Nixon from Venom Fluid Art, Kayleen Simmons also from Venom and Christy Connolly as well as Hippy Dippy Painterman and Shan B Fluid Art whom I have the pleasure to work with every week so hopefully you'll stay on the train with us today after this one and check out the other talented artists um, that are coming after me. friends here is the final dry result and isn't this artwork spectacular it's turned out so much more better than I thought it would given my lack of experience with chain pulls um, but I am so amazed I managed to do this I feel like I have mastered it to a degree I would have added more glitter but other than that it's perfection look at the way that looks and how it changes in the light it looks amazing so that's it from me this week guys thanks for joining me i really appreciate it and i hope to see you in the live at venom fluid art bye for now <laughs>